Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com where you can find over 9,000 different styles of in-house and name brand frames, sunglasses and prescription glasses. I get all of my glasses there, including this super cute pair right here. I use the virtual mirror tool to try them on so I don't even have to leave my home. I can try on the glasses, choose them, order them, and they arrive right to my doorstep. And if you're not happy with your glasses, you can return them within the first two weeks of receiving them. No questions asked, 100% money back guarantee, free returns, free shipping. All frames come with a basic prescription lens and a complete pair of glasses, including frames and a prescription lens starts at $30. So I chose a few pairs of glasses from glassesusa.com and let me know which ones are your favorites. I really love these ones. And for sunglasses, these are fun. These change color in the sun. If you'd like to try glassesusa.com for yourself, click the link down below for a special offer. So big thanks to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video and for their continued support so I can make better videos for all of you. Now today, I'm gonna to be making a super simple recipe. Many of you have requested it, saying that this recipe totally works. And it's not really a recipe, to be honest. It's more of a shortcut hack, whatever you wanna call it two ingredient cupcakes. These are cupcakes if you don't include the frosting, which cupcakes to me aren't cupcakes without frosting. At any rate, they're called two ingredient cupcakes and they include a can of soda and a box of cake mix. Two ingredients. Technically, this is not just one ingredient because it has all the other ingredients in it, but I suppose you consider it a one ingredient because everything is already mixed. Super convenient, right? Soda plus cake box mix makes a cake. But to make things a little more interesting, I thought, whoa, I try a few different sodas. The cake mix that I got is vanilla. I read that if you do orange soda, for example, plus vanilla, you get kind of a creamsicle. Root beer will give you kind of a root beer float. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have one box of cake box mix. This is 15 and a quarter ounces. I believe these were originally 16 ounces, like a one pound box, but you know, shrinkflation is real. And so I think it's been 15.25 for quite a while. And because I'm making this in six flavors, I'm first going to divide my cake box mix into six portions. So 432 grams divided by six, that would be 72. So we're gonna have 72 grams of cake mixed to two ounces of soda. Now, instant cake box mix is a very popular way to make cakes. I know there are a bunch of different hacks. I think dump cakes were really popular recently. Dump cakes are this kind of layering of cake box mix with other ingredients and you don't do any stirring, you just kind of dump. And at first I thought that was kind of a time-saving factor, you know, dumping and layering, but after watching some of these videos on the dumping part of the cake, it's, it's really tedious. They very carefully layer each layer, and I don't think that saves you much time at all. Working with a scale because it's easy. Gram measurement is great for that reason. So we're gonna do 72 ounces, uh, 72 grams, ah, not ounces, 72 ounces. Now I'm gonna add two ounces of soda to each bowl. We're gonna start with Coke, I guess. I just picked it up, Coke and put that next to that one so I remember. Dr. Pepper. Whoa, I'm not a huge fan of Dr. Pepper, are you? Let me know down in the comments. Alrighty. Now we're gonna mix these all up. And since that makes an annoying sound, let's try to use silicone, shall we? So you can mix this with a mixer if you like, but I think just doing it by hand is just gonna be just Fine. So all of our cake mixes are mixed with their sodas. So I've got a little aluminum muffin tin here and I'm going to use some cupcake liners. And to make sure that I don't get things confused, I'm gonna label each of these DP, Dr. Pepper, some pencil, MD, Mountain Dew. That way I won't get confused. Okay, so I'm filling these about two thirds full. I don't like how that one's so wrinkled, but it is what it is. Now we're gonna pop these into a 350 degree oven for 18 minutes, what does it say? 12 to 17 minutes. So 
let's split the difference and say 15 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And then we're gonna let them cool 10 minutes before we take them out. And then we're gonna give these a taste and see if they taste like soda. Alrighty, my lovers, I'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, my lovelies, I am back. All the cupcakes are cooked and cooled, and I have them perched on top of their respective soda pops, and we're gonna give these a taste. I'm gonna try these straight up because I'm really curious to see if any of the flavor of the soda is actually imparted into the cake. I imagine so, but this was a vanilla cake mix, so I know that that vanilla flavor is going to compete with the soda flavor as well, but Let's find out. So I'm gonna just taste these in the order that I have them arranged here. First up, smells good. All I really smell is vanilla. Don't really smell any 7-Up flavor whatsoever. Alrighty, 7-Up cake. Here we go, it's an Akimos. Mm, very moist cake, kind of sticky. Mm -hmm. Quite sweet. I like the texture, a little bit sticky, not quite as dense as a pound cake, a little bit fluffier, and definitely as sweet as a pound cake. I don't think this needs any frosting whatsoever. Maybe a little whipped cream on top for just some festiveness and maybe some sprinkles if you like, but that's actually pretty good. I don't taste any of the 7-Up. If you gave this to me blindfolded, I would just say vanilla white cake. Next, this one smells like vanilla too, but here we go. Hmm. Mm hmm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. This one, I definitely taste the orange and it tastes like that artificial orange flavor. It tastes like orange crush. And um, it tastes a lot like a creamsicle actually because of that vanilla that's in there as well. So you get this kind of vanilla, sweet, orange creamsicle flavor. If you like orange creamsicle, then you will love this one. Me, nah, it's not my favorite. It's not terrible, but yeah, to each their own. Alrighty, so this one is the Dr. Pepper. That's what it looks like on top. And inside, kind of a tan color. I think I smell it, yes, I do. All right, let's go. Mm, mm-hmm, clearly taste that one as well. And it tastes like Dr. Pepper. It's kind of that cherry, kind of cokey, slightly root beery flavor. I'm not a huge fan of it, but if you love Dr. Pepper, you will like this one because it definitely tastes like Dr. Pepper. But I don't mind the vanilla in there at all. I think it's absolutely appropriate. And yeah, it's a pretty Dr. Peppery cake. So kind of like that. Next, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew was kind of disappointing in the color. Somehow I always imagine Mountain Dew to being like a fluorescent green, but the drink itself is actually more yellow. And the cake just has a subtle kind of cream color to it and sticky in texture again yet fluffy and moist. Mm. I can taste the Mountain Dew in that, definitely. Kind of a citrusy kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Not particularly strong flavor, but it's definitely present. Mm -hmm. All right, next we have Bark's Root Beer. This one has a tan color to it. And let's see what that looks like. Probably just like the others, yep. Very moist and squishy, a little bit sticky. Here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That one has the strongest flavor of them all. I would say Orange Crush had the next strongest, but this one definitely, clearly tastes like root beer. And some people say it tastes like a root beer float. And I would say that's true because you've got that vanilla flavor of the cake already. Lastly, we have Coke, cola flavor. This too has a tan color. Looks just like the root beer and the Dr. Pepper. And same squishy crumb. Curious to see if this tastes like Coke. Here we go. Mm. It does. I can taste it. Wow. I'm impressed. Somehow I didn't think I would, but well, yeah. It has a cola flavor to it. Although much, much, much subtler than the root beer. Much subtler. So in terms of order of strength of flavor. Root beer would be definitely number one in terms of str strongest. Crush would be next. Dr. Pepper and Coke are about the same, and then Mountain Dew, and then 7-Up. Although Mountain Dew is closer to the Coke 
than 7up. 7up's flavor is very, very subtle. So my lovelies, there you have it. You can indeed make cupcakes using soda and cake box mix. It actually works quite beautifully. The cake turns out lovely, extra sweet, so it doesn't need any frosting, although they do look pretty plain like this, but super fun and novel. I think it would be great to do at a party and you could have your guests guess which cupcake goes to which soda. I think it'd be pretty easy to figure things out and it'd just be fun, kind of a little conversation thing to do as well. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get a special offer on your next pair of glasses, please click the link down below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love, love hearing from you. Share this video, like it, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Do take care. Bye. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky fingers. Mush, wash, de fingers.